Hey guys, this is Mr. Grace for Algebra 2, Unit 6, Review Number 1. Remember to show your work whenever possible and circle your final answer. So, we are supposed to select the graph or graphs below that have a domain of negative 2 to positive infinity. Select all that apply. No calculators. So, just remember that when we're talking about the domain, we're talking about the x values. So that means at negative 2, I need to be greater or equal, or negative 2, it goes to infinity, sorry, and that's A. So B, just my quick check, it's not at negative 2, so I know it's not that. C, greater than negative 2, yes. And then D, once again, I'm just going straight to negative 2. Uh, er, not it. So there you go. B and or A and C are the answers. Now, for 2, it says select the graph below that have a range of negative infinity to 1. Select all that apply. So range, once again, those are the excuse me, so those are the y values. If I can get my pen to work, there we go. So my low is negative infinity and then one is my high. So as I'm doing that, the two things that I'm looking at, there's one and then is it going down? And so for A, yes. Okay. I'm at 1, and then is it going down? Yes. There's 1 up. Nope. I can already tell you that. That's all jacked up. No for C. All right, D. There's 1. That's the highest it goes, and it's going down. So I can say that D is my answer. OK? All right, uh, complete the following chart, no calculators, and use your table of powers. Mr. Grace, what's the table of powers? Let's see, did I pull open the right one? There it is. This is your table of powers. This is what's going to help you fill these out. So the first thing that we have to do with number three is rewrite it. So the negative 27 stays the same, but then we rewrite it with 3 being my root, because it's the part that's underneath, and then the 5 goes on top, because that's my exponent. Okay? So as I'm looking at this, I go to uh, cubed root. Cubed root of 27 is 3. And since it's negative, it's going to be a negative 3. So now we have negative 3 to the fifth power. I come back to here. 3 to the fifth power is 243, except since it's negative, it's going to be a negative 243. And this is my final answer. Oh, let's get a big highlighter and there we go okay so for number four I'm gonna go backwards first okay I know that the 81 needs to be in parentheses there's gonna be a fraction the four goes underneath and the three stays on top okay so coming back here to look at the fourth power and 81, so that breaks down to a 3. So I know I have 3, and now I have to figure out what 3 cubed is. So 3 times 3 times 3. And we just kind of did that one. It's 27. Okay. 
So as we're rewriting it, it doesn't matter the negative. Don't be freaked out about it. Okay. Um, that stays with your exponent. So my root is the four and it's going to be a negative three up top. So as I come over here, I'm looking at the fourth and I'm finding 16 and it gives us two. So as I begin to solve it, it's going to be two, but it's two to the negative third. Okay. So if my exponent's negative, I drop it like it's hot. So the two cubed goes down. And then I need to figure out what is two cubed. What's two times two times two? And it's eight. So our final answer is one eighth. And yes, there is a non-calculator portion of the test. Okay. All right, number six. It says simplify the following expression and write it in both rational uh, exponent and radical form. No calculator. So looking at these, I would want to say who wins? Does the top win or the bottom win? Well, the top wins. So I would go off to the side and subtract them. If you don't know it, 4 minus 1 is 3, so it's 3 fifths. So this breaks down to x 3 fifths, and that's my rational exponent notation. That's my answer for this part is x three fifths. Now, radical notation is rewriting it. So my five is my root and the three is the exponent. Okay. So for number seven, we would do the same thing. Look to see which one wins and the bottom wins. Five minus uh, three is two. So my rational exponent, that's pretty much already it. And then rewriting that, I would just rewrite it underneath. So there's my x. Okay, 7 is my root. And the 2 is our exponent. Okay. Now for these, all we have to do is simplify and just remember no calculator for this. Okay, we can do this stuff without a calculator. Number eight, when it asks us to simplify, I always check, can I reduce anything? And if I can't, I just go ahead and distribute. My bases stay the same, and then I multiply. Three times three is nine, two times three is six, and that's all I can do. So our final answer is x over 9, y to the 6th. For number 9, we're multiplying. So I multiply my coefficients, the numbers out front. 3 times 4 is 12. And then I add my exponents. 9 plus 7 is 16. Number 10, once again, I don't have any coefficients, so I can just add. 5 plus 4 is 9, but then I always check, can we simplify this? And it's going to be 9 divided by 3, which is 3.
Okay. There's nothing inside, so I distribute inside. Okay. Now, be like, oh my gosh, I have to multiply fractions. Well, as I multiply the fractions over here, remember, it's 7 over 10, and it's 4. And yeah, that's a fraction. It's 4 over 1. So 7 times 4 is 28. 10 times 1 is 10. And then you always need to check, can I reduce? Is there anything I can divide the top and bottom by? And it's 2. And then it comes down to 14 over 5. Number 12, I always like to simplify my fractions first. So negative 6 over 18 is negative 1 over 3. My x to the fifth stays on top. My x squared stays on the bottom. My y stays on the bottom. But if my exponent's negative, I need to drop it like it's hot. Okay? And then I can decide who wins, the top or the bottom. And the top wins. The top wins by 3. And then we have a 3. And then the y's. I add up all my y's, and we have y cubed. So the only thing that you can get rid of would be the 1 out front. You don't have to have it, but if you keep it there, it's not wrong. Okay, and number 13, you always check, can I simplify the inside first? <clears throat> and since I can't, I need to add a 1, and then I'm going to distribute this negative 2, okay, my little co or exponent, to everything. The bases stay the same. 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, and 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. So if my exponents are negative, I drop them like they're hot. If they're already on the bottom, we bring them to the top. The only thing that I can still do is 4 squared, because I know that 4 squared is 16. So we get y squared over 16x to the fourth. Okay, and we're going to stop the video right there uh, just because I don't want it to get too long. And that's it. Okay, so uh, this is Mr. Grice signing off for Algebra 2, Unit 6, Review 1, video number 1. If you have any questions or need any extra help, please come see Ms. Kranzer or myself. We would love to help you out. Otherwise, this is Mr. Grice signing off. Thanks for watching.